I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on limits. Here we have taken a trigonometric function to find the limit. We need to evaluate the limit when x approaches 1 for cos of pi x by 2 divided by 1 minus square root x. Now it looks a difficult question since we have square root x here. Well, if I substitute 1 in both numerator and denominator, we get cos pi by 2, which is 0, right? And in the denominator, we get 1 minus 1, so we do have a form which is 0 by 0. Now, we could solve this using substitution. Uh, but before that, let me rationalize the denominator and then we'll work on it. So I could actually rationalize and write the question as limit x approaches 1. We have cos of pi by 2x by 1 minus square root of x. Now if I rationalize, that is multiply by 1 uh, plus square root x. I mean, I just wrote square root 1. 1 plus square root x, right? In that case, we get the denominator as... 1 minus x, right? So we can write this as cos of pi by 2x over 1 minus x times 1 plus square root x, right? Now this 1 plus square root x, if I substitute 1, will get 2, but this part is still 0 by 0. So now we'll apply the substitution, which is, we can say, let 1 minus x be equal to theta. In that case, 1 minus theta will be equal to x, right? And uh, as x approaches 1, then theta will approach 0, right? So then theta will approach 0. So using this substitution, we could write, rewrite this question as limit theta approaches 0 and replacing x with 1 minus theta we get cos of pi by 2 1 minus theta right over 1 minus x is theta over theta times so we have square root of x here which is 1 minus theta square root right so I write this as 1 plus instead of square root of x, I will write 1 minus theta square root. Now, here in the numerator, we have limit theta approaches 0. Cos of pi by 2 minus theta is what? Is sine theta, correct? Let me rewrite this. We'll go one more step. We could write this as cos of pi by 2 minus pi by 2 theta divided by theta, correct? And here we have 1 plus 1 minus theta within square root. Now, as you can see, we can actually write pi by 2 minus theta as sine theta, right? Uh, as you know, cos of pi by 2 minus alpha is equal to sine alpha, right? So that substitution we are going to make here. And so we can now write this as limit theta approaches 0 sine of pi by 2 theta over theta times 1 plus square root of 1 minus theta. Is that clear to you? Correct? Now, we can multiply and divide by theta by 2 so that we could get here limit theta approaches 0. We have sine pi by 2 theta. Now, if I multiply and divide by pi by 2, so we get pi by 2 theta times pi by 2. And here we have 1 plus square root of 1 minus theta. 
Now this portion, which is sine pi by 2 theta over pi by 2 for limit theta approaches 0, is 1, right? So this portion is 1. So we can write this as limit theta approaches 0 of sine pi by 2 theta over pi by 2 theta times limit theta approaches 0 for all this, which is pi by 2, which is a constant, minus 1 minus theta within the square root. Now, since that is 1, right, this all is 1, here we substitute theta equals to 0, we get pi by 2, 1 plus 1, right? So, so now, we get this as equal to, this is 1, right? And here we get pi by 2, and within brackets, we get 1 plus, when theta is 0, square root of 1 is 1. So we get pi by 2 times 2, which is equal to pi. So for this limit, we know the answer is pi, and that is how we are going to do it. So this is equal to pi. So I hope the steps are absolutely clear. The strategy of rationalization at this stage really helps to simplify the question. I hope you understand and appreciate it. Feel free to write your comments, share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that would be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.